There was a girl, an innocent girl who entered the middle school. She was very strong because she had gone through different challenging situations in her childhood. But her sensitivity seemed to be a curse. The other students began to bully her. Of course, she felt very sad about it and asked herself why they had lives like fairy tales. One day, when she was in the bedroom, she heard one of her bullies telling another person that her parents were divorced, the father was remarried, and had, a, had another child. In that moment, the girl realized a great thing. Bullies had problems too. They weren't as tough as they wanted to pretend. So, why were they bullying? There was a girl whose idea inspired me, an idea that I would present today. I think you believe that kids who bully do so because they have low self-esteem. In fact, researchers found out that a bully's hurtful behavior has more to do with the emotion of shame and less with their self-esteem. Kids who bully and tease can easily figure out what makes others feel ashamed and are skilled at triggering this emotion. Children might experience this feeling regarding certain things about themselves, their appearance, behavior of family members, friendships. If they believe that they don't match up with what they think are good enough or ideal qualities. A person can have problems with shame, but still have, still have a high self-esteem and this makes him act like a bully. Their meaning behavior towards others keeps their self-esteem high. It distracts their own and others' attention from the parts of themselves they are filled ashamed. But these bullies can become haters in the future. We all know what haters are and how they act. A hater is someone who devalues, discredits and downplays your accomplishments. Your failures are making them happier than their own success. Your improvement may bother people who are used to you existing below their level. But how could you deal with them? Here is some piece of advice. Firstly, ignore them and avoid taking it personally. Focus on people who support you. Secondly, don't let a jealous person affect your self-confidence. I have a little secret that could help you. Every morning when you wake up, tell yourself, I'm more beautiful, smarter and healthier than yesterday. You may consider this insane, but if you make it every day, your subconscious will believe it. Thirdly, set boundaries. Don't feel like you have to listen to a bully. Keep track of negative comments and after three, end the conversation. Last but not least, forgive them and keep your eyes on the road. Anyone who is threatened by your positive performance indicates that you are doing things right. Do you remember the girl I was talking about? There was a girl whose idea inspired me. That girl is me.